what's better than a day of thrifting? How about a day of thrifting where everything is half price? That is what I'm bringing you in today's video. This is a haul where everything, all the hard goods in the thrift store were 50% off. I'm Patty and welcome to Relatively Refined. Just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. And if you're new here, welcome. Enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to kind of dive into the haul. I got my glasses on, so I'll be able to um, share with you the prices. And these items are in no particular order, except I'm going to try to get the stuff that's in front of me out first. So the first item is this gorgeous tray. It's a tea tray, and it is extremely large. I think it is 24 by 30. And it is um, from a company called Tilecraft. It's made in Staffordshire, England. And it is has these botanical tiles. This, I believe, is probably from the 80s. And a lot of these um, trays you'll find have very Victorian flowers on them. So you might see some roses and things like that. This is the first one I've seen with the botanicals. And I love botanical prints. It very much reminded me of Port Marion, which is the, um, the dishes that my parents collected. So I really love this tray. It's nice and big. And I love the brass handles. And the back of it is all felted. So it has this gorgeous felt uh, lining, which is actually in really good shape. There's no tears or pilling, and it has the sticker um, on the bottom that is the Tile Craft. Is that what I said? Tile Craft? I always want to call it Tile Works. Yes, Tile Crafts. Um, again, it's made in Staffordshire, England, and it is a tea tray. And um, I was thrilled to get this. Now, this was marked $10, so I got this huge, gorgeous tea tray for $5. It's so heavy. A lamp that I purchased. It is a reproduction of a uh, French bouillette lamp. And I believe bouillette is a card game, but I don't quote me on that one, but I believe that is what that is. This is in remarkable shape. So the candle sticks are three um, metal sticks and they're all in perfect condition. Sometimes you'll see them worn. Um, this just looks in great shape. And it is a toll, the lampshade is tin and it's toll pattern. And there's great vine on it. The finial is in place and the um, wiring is all new and the switch is here on the bottom. So I was thrilled to find this in such good shape. And it is marked $30. And so I got this for 15 and it is stunning. And another item that I picked up um, at this thrift shop is this candle sconce. It is a taper candle sconce. It is brass. It's dirty. <laughs> I, like I said, I haven't washed anything because I needed the prices on them in order to film this video because again it was half price and i wanted to be sure i knew what it was so this is a taper sconce this is from smith and hawken and recently smith and hawken um uh, target carries some of their things actually i don't know if they still do but they did for a while and um but this is from the original smith and hawken store so this may have been a mail order item and it has the original, it's never been opened. It's all packaged here. Um, and it has the original price of $35 on it, $2.99. So I got this for under $1.50, brand new. And I love the oval shape of this. I'm going to. This was, I was so excited to find this. 
this is a Fostoria, um, I call them a sandwich server or a flat server with a, the center handle. And this is in the America pattern. This is the Fostoria Glass Company. I love the prismatic effect. And this one has, I'm also, everything is so dirty. I can't wait to wash these. This has this really nice scalloping on the edges. And the handle mirrors the uh, pattern. So even though this looks like it's bubbly, it's actually just a very gentle um, curve. It's pretty much flat. So this will be a great piece to serve. I have said this before. I'm a huge fan of these handled serving platters. I actually use them uh, I use them several times a week and I use them a lot in the summer to bring things from inside outside and in the holidays can you just imagine some pretty Christmas cookies or uh, fudge or whatever on this and this would be my third sandwich platter and I decided I really only need two I will tell you these platters are hard to store because they don't nest because of the center handle and I really only need two of them. So this one I'm keeping and one other one, and I'm going to let another one go. Marked $3.99. So at half price, I got this for just under $2, which is an absolute steal. This Fostoria glass is quite collectible. A glass item that I've probably reached my limit on are compotes, and I found another one. And this one will replace one of my compotes because for compotes again storage wise two or three is about my limit and this one i adore so this compote stood out to me because for two reasons one again with this gorgeous scallop edges it's so pretty the other thing i absolutely loved about it which i hope you can see is on the base there is a pattern, and of course the pattern's underneath, so it shines through. But this pattern mimics the band along here. So when it is down on a table, you can see that pretty pattern shining through. And to me, this compo is the perfect size. And I will use this for a lot of different things, but I really like to use this um, to put um, snacks in or at Christmas time you could I can just envision like peanut butter balls or fudge or um, nuts or pretty candies and it's just a great way to elevate literally and figuratively your table because it does add a little bit of height and these are fun to decorate also um, Easter I like to put Easter grass in them and um, Cadbury eggs or the little colored eggs or actual dyed eggs in them. So I find compotes to be fantastic. You can also use them, which I considered for this one, but if you put it in a guest room or um, a bathroom, you can put soaps and lotions and it's a great way to display things. This was marked $1.99. So this one I got for just under a dollar. If you saw in one of my sister, my sister Paula's video, she picked up a um, punch bowl. And so I could not resist. I did not own a punch bowl. And when she talked about the various uses for it, I thought, I don't really have one. There are so many. And actually for my daughter's birthday, I was wishing I had one. I did not. But this one really caught my eye. It is cut glass. Got, it's nice and heavy and it's really big without being overwhelmingly big. I can still store this. And punch bowls have a lot of uses as my sister Paula has referenced. One of them being they're a great way to serve shrimp cocktail because you can fill half of this with ice and put your shrimp on top. And then the cups are great for cocktail sauce. So I can envision this at um, the holidays with eggnog in it. So this is a great thing. You can freeze um, a jello mold of ice and put it in. 
You can have a retro party and do your 70s jello mold punch bowl thing, 80s as well. This came with 12 cups and that is a rarity to find all the cups intact and it has the hooks so it will hang off the side. This came with all of the hooks so it kind of goes, I think it goes like this, do this and um, I'll do it so you can see it here and then they hang off the side so there you go now this had a ladle with it and I cannot find it so I think I may have left that at the thrift store I know it had it because I picked it up and I think I must have left it there so I either need to take a trip back and see if they stashed it somewhere or purchase see if I can find a ladle another glass ladle or use my trusty metal ladle but that was unfortunate this is marked $7.99 four dollars and um, for four dollars I will certainly put this to good use and the final piece although I did get quite a bit more but I'm going to save it for another video but the final piece um, was this item and so it was marked two dollars for the set so I actually paid a dollar for this and this is a gravy boat and tray. It is Villeroy and Bach. And I love this. This is the Provence pattern. And it's like the little blueberries with this really pretty green trim. And here's the, the bowl. So you can see I, it was marked $2, but it was the gray was the color of the week. So I got it for a dollar. I don't have a gravy boat, so this is great to have one. But to me, this pattern doesn't kind of work as well with a gravy boat because in my opinion, I think of um, gravy as like fall and winter. And this is such a gorgeous late summer pattern. So my thought was I would um, put cream in it and use it for um, pouring over berries as a dessert option. So I'm not sure, but I just absolutely loved it. To me, it was like a summer breakfast kind of look. And I can definitely find a use for it. But a Villaroy and Bach gravy boat and tray without a mark on it for a dollar, I couldn't leave it there. So that was it. So that is it for this haul. And like I said, there was more to it. But um, I think you've probably heard enough from me today. So I. Thank you so much for sticking with this long video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my finds and maybe this will inspire you to go thrifting and find that special piece that you are looking for. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment, like, and share. We love having you as part of the Relatively Refined family. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.